Hi, okay, welcome to day 90. So if you've come this far, I know it's easy to peter out, so thank you uh, for doing that. I think, you know, you can look back and notice some progress if you've come this far on things. If you actually committed and went through it, I think that up to this point, you're gonna see that, oh, when I started, you know, I wasn't able to do this or this or this, and now I'm able to do it. So I'm not necessarily saying that your symptoms are gonna be better, that your health is gonna be better, but definitely uh, your ability to do more things, to build your resilience, to go through things, to push through things, your attitude, um, everything will have changed and improved, and that's what we're going for. So. If you've gotten to day 90, we're going to now for the, uh, for the next 10 days, take stock and really uh, flush everything out, make sure we are hitting on everything, everything that we need to in order to heal ourselves for the long haul. Because of course, nothing stops at day 100. It's meant to put in place for you to continue on um, until you are well. That is the ultimate key phrase, until. We're gonna keep going until not for 30 days and see what happens until. So we wanna build a lifestyle and an environment and a routine um, that is set up to heal us, that we know for sure that we're confident is going to heal us over the long haul. Okay, so today we are going to start with diet. So I haven't talked much about diet in this program because I, you know, I have so many other videos on diet and I will maybe even do a separate program on diet alone. But for diet, we want to be sure at this point in the program that we're, our diet is on point for healing. So what do I mean by that? That we're having low inflammation. So if you're still having gluten or dairy, grains or dairy in your diet, just cut them out, okay? Get rid of them. Um, we want to have lower inflammation. So as for all the lectins, the nuts and the seeds and the beans, I'm not saying you can't have any, but I'm saying, you know, bring our lectins down. Bring those things that are anti-nutrients, um, you know, away. We do wanna make sure that we're getting adequate nutrition. The goal of this is not to pick a certain diet, a specific diet, um, it's an overall diet plan. So what we definitely need to see in this overall diet plan is we wanna see that you uh, get rid of gluten and dairy. We wanna see that you are eating whole foods from the earth. So lots of foods from the earth, grass-fed animals, pasture-raised animals. We wanna see whole foods like fruit and vegetables, lots of different colors, things that are bought in season from your farmer's market. We don't, we wanna limit cans. We don't want to see things coming out of cans or tins or processed in any way. And we definitely wanna get rid of all that processed junk food, anything that comes in a package that has been made with a list of ingredients, <clears throat> nothing. We are, we're making our things from scratch, we're making it from home. It's whole foods from the earth. Um, in their natural state and cooked raw, um, you know, good for the gut. We want to have low um, inflammation foods and we're looking to nutrify our body. So we're looking for nutrient dense choices on foods, right? Where we're getting the highest minerals and vitamins and um, fatty acids from our food. So we definitely don't want to avoid an entire food group. Like we don't want to cut out meat and we don't want to cut out vegetables I mean these are extreme diets we definitely want to get the vitamins and the minerals from our vegetables and the phytonutrients and we want to get our building blocks and our amino acids and all our fatty acids from our our fish and our meat and our pastured wild choice of animal products okay and these are so important but don't let a diet throw you off don't get so caught up in a diet that you you're afraid to eat or you're, you're afraid to go forward or you don't know what food to eat. That's not what this is. This is we're eating whole foods from the earth. We're making sure that our diet has all the vitamins and minerals and building blocks and nutrients. How do you know? You can look up an app called Chronometer online and you can type in, um, you can get, you know, you can make up a standing menu, a daily standing menu 
or a two or three day daily staining menu. So you have like two or three options for your morning meal and two or three options for your evening meal um, and a few snacks on hand and see what you're getting. So then you can see what am I low in? What am I definitely low in? And that's how you know what we're going to supplement with, but we'll get to supplements later. That's not for this video, that's for tomorrow's. Um, okay, so um, so diet. We want to run a food panel, if we can, and eliminate our food sensitivities because it is hard to be on elimination diets for the long haul. It might be necessary to do an elimination diet right off the get-go, um, but sometimes often when your gut is leaky, or you're just going to rea be act reacting to a lot of foods and it's especially what you're eating. So we want to get a food sensitivity panel and take away those foods. So just take away uh, dairy, take away grains, and take away anything that's um, causing your body, your specific body, inflammation that you know of, okay? Then we want to eat lots of nutrients, nutrient-dense fruits, vegetables, meats uh, from the earth in their whole raw and cooked forms. Okay, not a lot of things added. And uh, high quality fats and oils. So we definitely want to be doing this. Um, we're looking for nutrient density. We, we can do juices and smoothies. We want to juice lots of different vegetables and we can drink that down. We want to be eating, making sure that we're getting our fatty acids from fish and we're getting, you know, our vitamin A and D and different things that will, you know, and that we're definitely getting amino acids from our animal foods and we're getting those phytonutrients from the plant foods. Um, so it's a very important. So at this point in the program, you should make sure that your diet is on point. And what I mean by that, not that you're doing the paleo diet or the, you know, vegan diet or raw vegan diet or carnivore diet or low FODMAP diet or whatever. I'm not talking about picking a diet here. I'm talking to make, making sure for the long haul that you're eating whole nutrient dense foods from the earth every day. You know, 99% of your meals should not ever come from a package or can or anything. It should, you, they should all be homemade. They should be filled with nutrients and you should be making sure that you're getting enough calories and getting enough vitamins and minerals. How do you know that? You look it up on chronometer and you see where your holes are. And if you can't find foods that match that because maybe you need calcium and, and you don't know where else to get it besides dairy, right, that's an example, then we need to look at supplementing. And we're gonna talk about supplementing tomorrow. But you find where your holes are and that you jot those down and we either find foods or we definitely find supplements that are gonna fill in those holes so that we have a broad, overarching diet that is truly, truly giving us everything that we need, okay? In order to heal, regenerate. It takes a lot of work to heal and regenerate and elimination diets and cutting everything over time can lead you to nutrient deficiencies and being run down. So we definitely need to find a way to include the best that we can um, and what we know at this point, the best that we can is that fruits, vegetables, meat, um, everything that's organic and pasture and grass fed and whole foods and from the earth, um, these are the types of people who are having the best health, the best longevity, um, you know, when you look all over the world. And that's what we're going for. I'm not saying you can't get more specific with diet and you can't come in and out of different trial periods for diet, but we're definitely at this point in the program making sure that we know that we're getting all of our vitamins and minerals through food and if we're not, we're supplementing them with them. We know that we're getting high nutrient dense foods with all our meals like organ meats and egg yolks and um, right, like all these foods, we're getting the blue and the deep reds in these berries that we need and we're getting enough greens, right? We need to be sure that we're getting all of this in our diet and today is the day that you need to sit down, really look at your diet Pick an overarching diet. Make sure that you're flooding your body with nutrient-dense foods so that you can nutrify it. You're getting enough of your um, minerals and your electrolytes and everything that your body needs to heal. So today's the day. Uh, take stock in that. And I challenge you to make sure that your diet is on point and that you feel good about it going forward, from here forward.